Today we are going to be looking at how pro golfers actually cure their irons and what you can do to hit those crisp, sweet strikes. Now you may have seen on video, in photos, in a million different places, when a pro really strikes their irons, their hands are ahead, they're hitting down, they're squeezing that ball into the turf. And this has led to so many golfers trying to get into an impact position where their hands are miles ahead of the ball. Please don't do that. The reason for that is that the golf swing moves around the body in an inclined plane. As soon as you start to try and massively push the hands ahead of the ball, the shaft angle increases, the hands become disconnected from the body, and a lot of golfers take a massive divot, shove the ball off to the right, or know that they're coming in too steep and back up. Now, if you really want to get that strike, you don't get the hands ahead, you get the hands moving low and around the body. And this is where the misconception lies. So we're not doing this, we are getting those hands moving low and around. But notice, as the hands go low and around, they naturally start to get ahead of the ball that impact. The reason that this works and the reason that the best players do this is rather than being in this position, the hands can then follow the rotation of the body, exit low, allow that player to control the club face whilst also getting those hands ahead. So low and around as you come through impact. Oh, get in. Why don't I listen to my own advice? I just, I just... Now I hear everybody cry, fantastic. Let me get to the drying range, let me get those hands moving low around the body, but there is a bit of a catch. Because what a lot of players will do is to try and get the hands moving low and around, they will move out and then shove the hands inwards. Now that is gonna to lead to a steep angle of attack. It's also gonna to lead to a path which is traveling way too much off to the left-hand side. So what we've done, we move closer to the green here. I've got a 54 degree wedge and this is a great way to practice this shot. Rather than just going straight into that type of position, take a little half swing, feel like the arms are quite straight. There's a little bit of hinge in the wrist, but get the feeling that that club is just shallowing a little bit, so it's moving behind the body. When it moves into this type of position, it's so much easier to turn and get those hands low. That's because the club is not out and moving to the inside. It's already a little bit shallow. You can turn, keep those hands ahead. So halfway, feeling like it is that little bit shallow, turn and allow those hands to move around the body. And because it's a shorter swing, because you're only using a wedge, you'll actually be able to get the feelings a little bit quicker. This can also help you hit those nice little crisp wedge shots. So half a swing, that shallow, turn that body and get the hands moving low and around. Lovely. So if you want all the information from this video, please take a screenshot now. We can take it to the golf course, to the range, but also save this video for future reference. And if you want a little bit more help, subscribe to the channel. We are a purely coaching channel to help you improve your game. But also, how about these videos here? How about this one here, which also goes into more detail about how to really squeeze those iron shots?